Hey guys, welcome back to JD Mods, and today we have a massive unboxing video, and I called this video the 500 horsepower Civic unboxing, because most of these parts are for my 2002 uh, K24 EP3, Honda Civic of course, and it is with these parts that I'm going to hopefully make 500 crank horsepower, because the last person with this similar setup made 450 wheel horsepower. But anyway, that's a separate video. Today, we're just going to be unboxing these and showing you guys what we got to keep you guys excited. We've been doing lots of Lexus stuff, which if you guys like the Lexus stuff, there'll be lots more of that. But this is for all of our Honda subscribers. We're going to go ahead and unbox everything and hopefully you guys get really excited. So here we go. I'm going to start with this box here. Um, this I purchased off of eBay. I will be doing a full in-depth review on this product. This is an entire K20 A2 Acura RSX turbo back exhaust. So this is meant for a eBay style turbo RSX Type S with a log manifold and rear mounted turbo. Oh my god, let me show you what we got in this box. Of course this is the first time I'm seeing any of this stuff, so we get to enjoy the excitement together. Alright, we got a gasket. These are, those are, those these are, are crappy gaskets, so we're just going to throw these away probably. And here's the very first piece to our exhaust. Can you see it in the plastic or no? A little bit, yeah. All right. Well, it's not super exciting, so I'll just keep it in the plastic because I might not use it anyway. This is a 5-bolt turbo downpipe that'll bolt right up to your stock exhaust if you're running an eBay Turbo RSX. So there's engine. Now working our way back, there's the rear of it. Let's do the mid-pipe next. Might be that one. Or, nope, it's this one. Alright, so the next piece of exhaust goes from that 2-bolt flange, bends over a little bit and goes to a 3-bolt flange. Um, that's usually, I think, where the cat would be on a stock RSX. I'm not 100% sure. And then moving on, we have, looks like a resonator piece, even though it's just straight through. It might be a glass pack resonator, probably makes it stupid loud, but there is just another piece of the exhaust, don't know why it's two two bolt flanges. I'm sure it all, I'm sure it all works out in the end. Is this the second piece? No, that's the third piece. I was just going to say, I had a DNA motoring uh, cat back on my RSX when it was non-turbo. Um, that was probably one of the first mods I did to it, and the exhaust was stupid loud. And I was making two-hour drives to go visit Kyle at school, and it droned really bad, and it was not a good time. So I hope, I hope Kyle enjoys his eBay quality exhaust. But fun fact, <laughs> turbo cars sound better with cheap exhausts, because the turbo is there to break it up, and it just sounds better. <laughs> Alright, now the part you've all been waiting for, the big cannon. Oh. Let's move that out of the way. And let's properly unwrap this for full effect. There it is. <laughs> That's pretty big. So there is, of course, just the muffler. It is actually really shiny. And it looks like it has some decent quality hangers, maybe. And it looks like it has a silencer piece in it, but it looks like it's easily removable with a couple screws. The silencer looks stupid. So whether I use it or not, that is the exhaust that I purchased. Now I purchased this exhaust because right now my Civic has a rear mounted log manifold turbo setup. But as you will see in a few seconds, I need to be changing out the turbo setup. So how much of this I actually use, I'm not really sure. But that's okay. Alright, let's start opening up the turbo setup. Okay, so now the more exciting package of the three. This is my new Sidewinder turbo kit. This is a used kit I bought off of someone locally, kind of, off of Facebook. So, let's see what's in here, shall we? 
No eBay parts here, I don't think. Oh. Alright, this is a no, no special order, just as they come out of the box. Alright, here we have a dump tube. I'm just going to put it all aside, then we can look at it later. It'll make a lot more sense. Looks like we have some non-rear mounted turbo mount down pipes. Uh, these are the sidewinder ones. And there's a whole bunch of different down pipes. There's another one of the down pipes that's obviously a further down section. And that bolts up to that with the V-band. have some more dump tube pipes and this one is the one you told me about this is cracked but it is yet another dump tube streamer pipe gotta figure out how all this bolts together of course all right where's my turbo oh it's over here we'll do the turbo last this here is some heat wrap tape keep everything nice and cool a titanium turbo snuggie for a T4 turbo. Not quite sure what's in here. I'm guessing just some hardware and stuff. Where's my knife? There it is. Oh, I was wrong. Here we have the Turbo Smart. 38 millimeter uh, wastegate. He also provided me with a bunch of spare springs for different sizing. And I believe there's all the gaskets, valve seats, everything you need in here for the wastegate. Very good. All right. Is there anything else aside from the turbo? I don't think so. All right. Oh, so many boxes. All right, so here is the manifold and the turbo. I think they're still bolted together. Yes, they are. All right, here it is. Oh, it's really heavy. This is the, I forget what brand, Sidewinder Manifold with a Garrett GT3582R. This is a dual ball bearing turbo. So as you can see, it comes with oil feed and water feed lines, um, as well as drain lines, of course. Uh, what else? It's a T4 turbo, he said, and as you can see, that is where the wastegate mounts to, and it also comes with a secondary dump tube. I got two different types of dump tubes. Um, I don't know why, he just said he had both of them, and he wanted to give me both of them to make sure one of them worked. So yeah, that is the whole turbo kit. He had it on his K20A2, and he made 450 wheel horsepower, he said. So I'll be very interested to see what kind of power it makes on my K24. Probably very similar, I would imagine. Um, but before we wrap up this video, we got one more little tiny box. And this might be kind of hard to show, so let's bring the camera closer, maybe. So this is for both Ali's car and my car. This is a bunch of random fuel components, so I'll just go through this really fast. There's a bunch of duplicates in here. We have uh, air motive style fuel pressure regulators. They're not air motive brand, but to be honest, they look the exact same, and I'm sure they'll perform the exact same as well. Those come with 6AN fittings. Uh, I have a 6AN fuel filter. 
I let Ali use the one I was going to use on my Civic, so I had to get another one. I have a whole bunch of 180 degree 6AN fittings, which you need to run um, a return, return fuel system on a K20 <laughs> car. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Um, what else is in here? Just the fittings. Just a bunch more fittings, plugs, and another regulator. So that's pretty much all the fuel components, with the exception of the injectors, which we are going to be getting from the same place we got Ali's injectors, Velocity Racing Performance, um, here in Canada. And that is pretty much going to be the setup for the Civic in 2019. And being my winter car, I'm probably going to install this stuff very shortly. And then we're going to go and get it tuned along with Ali's RSX. Finally. Finally. <laughs> it really sucks when you can't drive your turbo car. But I'm happy I decided to splurge and go with this turbo kit instead of getting it tuned on my old setup because my turbo was way too small for my motor, had lots of boost creep. For some reason, the eBay turbo works great on Ali's RSX, but it does not work great on my Civic. So I'm excited to install the Sidewinder kit and stuff. So make sure to stay tuned for those videos. Uh, I think I got everything in this big unboxing video. Hopefully it wasn't too boring, but we should have lots more exciting videos shortly with the manual swap Lexus, the turbo install Civic, and Ali's RSS getting tuned. Don't forget the K-Site. Don't forget the K-Site. Oh, and the K-Site. There's so <laughs> much going on. The K-Site, I'll admit, is last. Might not start till next spring, um, but that and the Aristo are kind of put on hold. You guys saw the Aristo at the end of the season get tuned. It's pretty much done right now. But hopefully next year we'll have all these cars and get to go racing. So thanks for watching everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe.